Rick, if I'm not mistaken, that rather imposing figure to your left is the current IBF super middleweight champion, the man that many boxing fans feel is the, is the super middleweight who really is the one to beat, James Tony. James, uh, I'm sure you're aware of this fight between Nigel Benn and Chris Eubank. Are you watching it with interest? Who do you think will win? And are you looking forward to taking one of them on? I don't care who wins, and I'll fight either one of them. I mean, I'll fight both of them on the same night if you want to be Well, let me, uh, let me ask the guys if they have something to say back to you. First of all, Nigel, what do you think? I don't mind coming over there and fighting him. I've done it with Barkley, Robbie Thin, Doug DeWitt. I'm not scared of him. I'll come over there and fight him. Let me tell you him. something. I'm not Iron. I'm not Iron Barkley. I'm not Doug DeWitt. Will you come cool. over there? That's I'm cool. Yes. I'll see you soon. <laughs> Let me ask for Chris Eubanks' response to your your statement, sir. Chris, uh, what do you have to say? What do you have to say? Chris, what do you have to say to the current IBF uh, Super Middleweight Champion? I'm the best. When I, when I see you, I'm going to beat you in. <laughs> Mr. Tony, we just have two minutes left of satellite time. Um, You're full of mouth. Full of mouth. I wonder if you have any final comment for fight fans over here. How do you regard the WBO and the WBC titles? Well, the, well, the WBC stands for we be crooks, and the WBO, we don't even count that. So I'm the real champ. I'm going to be crowned champ. They got to fight me. The only way they're going to make some real money is by fighting James Tony. I'm the million dollar man. They want, if they want to make some money, they got to fight me. That's what, that's what it all comes down to. Thank you. Thank you very much for your time. I think we Come received your messages Come loud and clear. Come Chris, I know he's particularly keen to meet up with you socially. <laughs> no fighters in England. They are bums. Bunch of women over there. Breaking news after Errol Spence questioned the WBC decision to reinstate Connor Ben, despite the fact that Connor Ben failed two drug tests for PEDs. I already made a video on that. I'm gonna leave the link for that video in the comment section below. The WBC came out yesterday clearing Conor Ben testing positive for PEDs twice, claiming that eggs caused Conor Ben to test positive for PEDs. Now, today, apparently, Conor Ben ate some more eggs because he tweeted Errol Spence, quote, Errol Spence, you've been talking the most. And well, I'm reinstated in the WBC. I will have you next. You worry about handling your drinking, driving convictions. Wanker. End of the quote. A few moments later, Errol Spence responded to Conor Ben with, quote, Drinks and PEDs. Two different things. Laughing emoji. Difference me and you. I own up to my shit. You a cheat. Just like your daddy. Laughing emoji. End of the quote. Mm-mm-mm. Errol Spence hit Conor Ben with, You your daddy, son. I guess they weren't lying when they said, Father like son. If the dad is a cheat, what do you think the son gonna be? The apple don't fall too far from the tree. Additionally, Errol Spence followed up with, fighters on the top five should have to do year round drug testing PEDs. Make it mandatory to even get in the top five and at least 10 tests random per year with a once year hair test. Now pay attention to how Conor Ben never accepted what Errol Spence suggested in order to clear his name from this point forward. That's when Conor Ben responded with, Proven innocent. I ain't raised my hand to shit I ain't done. You're convicted. Big difference. Is that the excuse you a lot making over there after my dad dealt with your world champions? What is Conor McGregor, what is Conor Ben talking about? Last time I checked, his pops avoided James Tony and Roy Jones like there was no tomorrow. He did not have the cojones to even fight them. So what is he talking about? Conor Ben father didn't even dare to fight the champions from the US from James Tony to Roy Jones. Ben stayed hidden in the UK, keeping his bell hostage. And we all know Conor Ben nor his father are innocent from cheating by taking PEDs. It's a fact that they tested positive for PEDs, which means they are guilty of cheating. 
Anyways, Errol Spence responded with, I might be in the UK soon. Tell your pops, come have a pina colada with me. No hard feelings for real. His son just a sucker. Fake has passing out in the locker room to skip the drug test against G-Man. They should have waited on his ass to wake up. Laughing emojis. I think he talking about Conor Ben Father. Then a fan tweeted Errol Spence. Yo, Errol Spence, I found who's been stealing your chicken. That's when Errol Spence responded with. Nah, my chicken's clean and organic. I don't know why bro came effing with me this morning. You know, it's funny because Conor Ben told Javante like a month ago. Don't throw bricks when you live in a glass house. Well, he should have took his own advice. One thing for sure, Conor Ben took an L when he tested positive for PEDs twice. Two things for certain. Conor Ben took another L today from Errol Spence. I mean, that was cold. Nevertheless, I told you guys before. At the moment in time, the WBC clean program is sounding more like the WBC, we be cheating, dirty program. This is the first time in history that we ever heard PEDs are caused from eggs. This is laughable. Therefore, let me know in the comment section below, which is a more pathetic excuse? Oscar Valdez testing positive for PEDs and blaming it on herbal tea where he claimed herbal tea caused the PEDs in his system. We also had Tyson Fury and Canelo Alvarez testing positive for PEDs and blaming it on wild boars contaminated meat. Last but not least, Conor Ben claiming that he received PEDs from eating too many eggs. At this point, the fighters need to speak up about this type of corruption. With the facts being laid out, drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe below and click on the notification bell to be continued. On the next episode of Aki, Aki, Aak TV, peace. Wa alaikum as salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Breaking news as you've heard about potentially that fight between Joshua and Miller being cancelled. How you've reacting as a boxing fan yourself? Well, I just heard it when I got to the gym this morning. I can't believe it. The biggest night of your life, biggest fight of your career, and you know you get tested positive for a banned substance. Something it, it it baffles me. When you see boxers at the top level concern themselves with these sort of issues, especially this close to a massive fight, I mean, does that not concern you as a professional in that field? Well, my nutritionist think I'm not even you know at world level or my nutritionist has a go at me for taking vitamin C tablets if they haven't been tested so the team he's got around him should say listen check all your substances you're earning a few good quid here and and you, why put why put that to risk